In Revit, you can customize the thermal properties of the wall, window, floor, and roof constructions to accurately reflect the materials that you would like to use in your design. These detailed properties can be exported in your energy model to be used as the as-modeled values in InSight by enabling the Detailed Element checkbox in the Advanced Energy Settings. Using these detailed element thermal properties produces a more accurate energy model, rather than simply relying on the conceptual or schematic types. Let's start by opening the Revit model that we'll be using for this analysis. Open the Building Model, Simple L Building, Wall Materials Revit model. Now let's verify the energy settings that are currently set for the project. On the Analyze tab, select Energy Settings. Verify that the Use Building Elements mode is selected. Open the Advanced Energy Settings by clicking Edit. Then confirm that the Export category is set to Spaces, if they are defined in your model. Now we can enable the model to use the Detailed Elements Thermal Properties. In the Advanced Energy Settings dialog, check the Detailed Elements checkbox. The Detailed Elements option pulls thermal properties from the constructions used in Revit, overriding the thermal properties of both conceptual and schematic types. If a construction does not have thermal properties assigned in the model, Revit will assign properties to an element from either the conceptual type or the schematic type if one is defined for that category. Click OK twice to apply these energy settings changes. Now let's view the detailed thermal properties for a wall type. Open the default 3D view, then click on an exterior wall in your model. Click the Edit Type button in the Properties palette, then note the thermal properties listed for this wall type in the Analytical Properties section of the Type Properties dialog. These thermal properties are determined by the materials chosen in the structure of the wall type and their thicknesses. Now let's create a new wall type with a different material thickness. Click the Duplicate button to create a new wall type, then enter a new name, for example, Exterior, EIFS on Metal Stud, Extra Insulation. Click OK. Next, click the Edit button in the Structure cell of the Properties palette, and note the Resistance, R, and Thermal Mass at the top of the Edit Assembly dialog box. Change the thickness of the EIFS Exterior Insulation layer from 3 inches to 4 inches. Note how the Resistance and Thermal Mass values changed as you increase the thickness of this layer. Click OK to save this new assembly. Now let's create another new wall type with a different material. Click the Duplicate button again to create another wall type. Edit the name to Exterior, EIFS on Wood Stud, Extra Insulation. Click OK. Now click the Edit button in the Structure cell of the Properties palette and click the Action button at the right end of the Metal Stud layer cell in the Material column. Search for Structure, Wood Joist Rafter Layer, Bat Insulation in the Material Browser window. Double-click on this material name to enter it into the assembly, and note how the resistance and thermal mass values increased again as you change the material in the stud layer of the wall. Click OK to save this new assembly, then click OK to close the Type Properties dialog. Now we can assign these thermal properties to walls by changing their wall types. Select any wall in your model. Open the Type Selector in the Properties palette to assign a wall type with the desired thermal properties to that wall. You can use similar steps to create new wall types for wall, roof, floor, and ceiling assemblies with structures that model their thermal properties. Then, select the building elements and choose the new types from the Type Selector in the Properties palette to apply them to these elements. After applying the detailed thermal properties, we're ready to generate InSight. Go to the Analyze tab and click Generate. 
If the energy model has not already been created, accept the prompt to create it now. If it already exists, choose whether to use the existing model or generate a new one at this time. If the energy simulation fails after making these changes, check the thermal properties of the building envelope elements and try to simplify them with fewer layers or smaller thicknesses. After the inside analysis is complete, we're ready to access the results. Go to the Analyze tab and click Optimize to access the results in the Insight interface. The analysis results will use the detailed thermal properties specified and the as model data point for the wall construction and roof construction factors will reflect the values of the selected wall and roof types.